Today's story is called Refuge, and it's an interesting way of telling the story after the wise men have come, after the, the shepherds have come, after everything has gotten quiet, the Christ child and his family have to find a way to get away, and we'll find out why. Um, but, and it's really interesting, I love this story because it's told from the donkey's perspective. So enjoy. Refuge. The man led me and I carried the woman all the way to Bethlehem. And then the baby was born. The shepherds came first. And after them came the kings. When the last king left, the scent of frankincense lingering the air, we all slept, and the man had a dream, a dream of danger. He woke long before the sun rose and told the woman. She took the baby and kissed him. She smelled his sweet baby breath and felt his soft, warm baby skin, and how his lashes tickled her cheek as he sleepily nuzzled her neck. Time to go, she said. Then they wrapped him up warm and kissed him again. The man came to get me. He patted me between the ears and led me out. Come on, old friend, we're off on a journey again. And we left some gold for the innkeeper, for he had been good to us when others had not. And we set off. Under starlight, through empty streets, while people were sleeping, hoping for the kindness of strangers again. And we passed the shepherds in the fields, and there, there were whispered blessings, and the movement of sheep in the darkness, and the clasp of rough hands, and the love of warm hearts. And I kept walking, carrying my precious load, and the woman held the baby close to her heart, and she and the man talked about journeys and dreams and warnings, and the love of a baby and the kindness of strangers. And when we rested, and they were frightened, they took hope from each other and from the baby's tiny first smile. And we entered into Egypt and we found refuge. The end.